Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here with another holiday card today. This is actually part of a really fun blog hop by Altenew, which is called Crafty Friends. There are tons of giveaways along the hop from amazing sponsors, so make sure to visit my blog to learn all about it. For my card today I will be using this stamp set which is called Festive Poinsettia by Altenew and it has this gorgeous poinsettia flower. This is going to be my focal point, so I'm going to stamp it. I'm using my misty here just to make sure that I can stamp it a couple of times. I am working on watercolor paper because I plan to use my watercolor markers. And I will stamp it with Versamark ink a couple of times just to make sure that it's, uh, I have a good impression there. And then I am going to apply some gold embossing powder. The embossing powder I'm using is the Antique Gold by Altenew. Now I'm using my heat gun to melt the embossing powder and uh, when I don't want to have uh, too much bleeding on a watercolor piece, I like to do this embossing because it creates a barrier between the areas on my image so the colors are not going to bleed into each other. But that depends on the look that you are going for. For coloring my image I will be using my watercolor brush markers by Altenew and for the red leaves I will use Midnight Violet as my darker shade and Autumn Blaze as the lighter one. With these markers it's really easy to blend the colors directly on your watercolor paper. So you can see I'm using my violet to add uh, the darker shades. Then I'm using Autumn Blaze to color in the lighter part of my leaf. And then finally I touch the darker shade and blend them together. And this is the technique that I pretty much did for all the leaves. So here is a close-up look on one more leaf. This set of watercolor brush markers comes with 10 colors, but don't forget that you can mix colors together to get um, different shades. So like here I wanted um, a darker shade of uh, red, but it's easy to do that with my violet. Now the leaves at the bottom I'm going to color them green, so for that I'm using moss and emerald. And again using the same technique I'm going to mix those colors directly on my leaf. And once I was done coloring I did run it through my big shot using the matching dye. You can see I'm very carefully peeling off my purple tape, although it doesn't uh, leave any residue. I'm going to pop out my image and I have a gorgeous poinsettia, perfect for color point for a holiday card and I love the shine on it. Now I'm going to work on my background. You can of course use white cardstock, but I decided to go more dramatic today. So I'm going with black uh, panel that is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to use this stamp set. It's called Kind Confetti and it's from the latest Alta New release. The idea here is to have some uh, dots, some confetti scattered all around my background. I'm going to stamp it with uh, Versamarking and then again I'm going to apply my embossing powder which is Antique Gold. And this is where I decided I needed more dots on uh, the upper corner, so I'm just going to use my fingers and stamp a few more dots there. Again with Versamarking I'm going to apply the embossing powder up there and then just heat set everything. So here I created a lovely background. Of course you can do similar things by just uh, doing some splatters with gold paint, but this is more controlled and um, it gives results that you are expecting. So anyway, I'm going to add some uh, glue at the back of this frame. This is a golden frame that I cut out from gold cardstock using uh, two rectangle ties, one inside the other. I'm going to stick it all around my panel to create a gold frame. So I have gold touches at the background on my frame as well as on the embossed image. For my poinsettia I have added glue at the base of the stem, but for the leaves I went with uh, foam squares at the back, so I will have some dimension at the top. And now all I need to do is to add my sentiment. For that I die cut three letters that spell out the joy, the word joy, out of the same cardstock, the gold cardstock, and I used the fine alphabet die. And to complete my greeting I also stamped the wishing you using uh, the embossing powder the gold embossing powder on a very thin strip of white cardstock. So putting everything together here 
I usually work like that. I create panels and uh, then I can just stick them on top of uh, pre-folded standard cards that are always white. So this way I have a blank space inside to write my message. And to finish off my card, I added a couple of dots at the center of my poinsett using my gold Nouveau Drops. And my bottle is almost empty, so I had to squeeze it really hard. But it worked in the end. So here are some close-up photos of the project that I made for today. I hope you had fun that you got inspired. Don't forget that this is part of a blog hop with, with amazing sponsors and tons of giveaways. Make sure to visit my blog to learn all about it and enter the giveaways. Thank you all so much for watching and have a lovely weekend.